Tina Spencer's El Balk at Painting Plus. Gun control. So look at that. US, Gun control. U.S. You guys Marshal was killed today. What? In, uh, yeah, in Hamburg, PA, serving a warrant. Why? I don't know. Anybody, elaborate on that, would you? Yeah, I mean, we'd well, like to know a little bit more about gun control. We let's could talk, talk about, about gun let's control. Let's talk about it. We could go into gun control. Gun control. All right. There's a lot of things. Me, personally, I'm a gun owner. Um, I have one. Yeah, I, I'm a gun I mean, owner. I don't, I don't legit, like, I'm not an avid, like, gun owner. You know what I mean? Like, I have one for self-defense. I know how to put the bullets in if you're coming to rob me. Like, that's about as far as I go. I mean, and, and I'm all for that. There's, the, the scary thing about gun control is, I, you know, I have friends, too, that are totally, completely anti-gun. Like, they don't think anybody should have guns. And I understand where they're coming from. The problem is, I don't think you're ever going to get all the guns from people. <sighs> How would you get all the guns? So some jerk off is still always going to have a gun. Plus, I mean, you see what happens in London. People get run over when they don't have guns, and the cops are there were running for their lives. So as far as guns go, I mean, listen, here's the. Oh, oh, we gotta turn that down. Sorry, everybody. Now I can see everybody's con- true story. Duff. I just now I can actually read comments. So, yeah. What were you saying, Jeff? I'm sorry. I cut you off. We're talking about gun control, Joe. No, I know you, that. Are you here, Earth to Joe? Are we in the same room here? Yeah, check, check. It's working. I, I'm basically, Oop, I mean, I, I sympathize for people that think nobody should have guns. I would like to see those people have guns. You know what I mean? It's like Try I always out. wanted to put, my, put a gun in the hands of somebody that doesn't want. It's, it's such a protection thing. Um, I'm a huge ad- advocate for gun safety because I know that there's in this country, you're not going to get away from guns. If you have children or just anybody, you're going to be in contact with a gun eventually. So my biggest thing that is what? if you live in this country, you yes. will be in a place where there's a gun. At some point in time. Oh, well, yeah. If a cop has one. Or People just whatever, have them in their houses. Yeah. yeah. You Family know what I mean? members. Oh, Uncle a, Bob has 2012 gauges. Especially children. So I have an 11-year-old and a 6-year-old. Okay. And at their ages, even when well, my, my son was, you know, my, sis, my daughter's age, around when they're around 4 or 5 years old, you show them the absolute basics. The pies oh, here. I will. Pies here. We just totally stopped. That's how fat we are. That's how fat Primo, we are. Primo's in the building. You got... Yeah, I got a couple on. bucks for him. Tell your tell your story about your kids, and then I'm gonna grab the pizza. So we're here. gonna do that right here. now. Here, here, give that to him, Joe. Always, talk to our always thank you to our people. All right. Here's what this is. This is my take on on gun safety. It, it, if you step away from the gun control, you have to realize that you're going to be in a situation where your kids may come in contact with a gun. So that being said, you want them to know exactly how to handle a situation with the gun. You don't ever want them walking up, sticking their fingers down the barrel or anything like that. So as a, to me, I believe as a responsible adult and as a gun owner, I obviously have the privilege of showing my kids this is how guns work. Now, not all guns are exactly the same, but there's a couple safe features or, or, or safe little techniques that you should all go about. Wow, look at that pie. That pie looks good. Primo's in the build. That you should all go about showing your children. And, uh, you know, you think I should show them, Joe? <laughs> yeah, show them. I'm going to show them. Just jump right into it and go over this right now. No, I'll do, I do. It. You want to give them? I'll you... just do a short little demonstration of what I think that you guys should uh, have your kids be aware of. And show. if you're an adult and you're not aware of it yourself, then, then these are a couple. Now, by I'm no circumstance, yeah, I did this because it was all tangled on me. Look at you. By no circumstance at all am I a gun trainer. Wait, hang on. Let me check it. Let me see here. I can see the. Hang on, Eric. You wanna um? How can we do this? Well, they could they could read her comments. You Everybody could, else on Facebook land could read Eric, her comments. Feel free and comment for us. Eric Eric can comment for us as well. That's cool. The guy that shot him was wanted by the authorities for not appearing because the gun charge? For all the gun charge. An illegal gun charge. Guns. Yeah. You want to hold this mic for me over here so I can give him a little demo of what to do and what, well, exactly pretty much what not to do. Right. I'm going to give you a couple little steps. We've prepared a little uh, PSA for you, public service announcement oh, on wow. gun Jeff safety. Oh, big words. Uh, yeah, well, it's an acronym, Joe. It's not really a big word. I didn't know there was going to be involvement of moving out of my seat. Okay. Well, yeah, you have to. Am I, I didn't over want to move here out of my to seat. see myself? I will be able to see myself. 
I hope so. Alright, so that's somewhat working out for me. I really want the pizza, Jeff. Can you hurry this along? Bring the mic towards me. Listen. Because I can't hold both. Okay. I brought my 870 tactical Remington shotgun. I hope they can see you. I think they can. Yeah, they could definitely be able to see where I'm pos positioned. Oh, yeah. All right. So there's a couple of things that I want everybody to know. The very first thing is don't touch the, the trigger. Never, ever, 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 ever touch the trigger unless you intend on pulling the trigger. You think it's funny, Joe? It's true. Don't touch the trigger until you finally decide you're going to shoot. I just feel like, thanks, Captain Obvious. Well, no, and people don't know that. You ever see movies where they're sitting there with their finger in the trigger guard? You don't do that. You keep your finger posted like so. You never, ever touch the trigger until you're finally ready to pull the trigger. Now, if somebody hands you a gun, there's a couple things, and this is the stuff nobody, that I teach my children. Uh, nobody ever hands me a gun, so we'll never have to worry well, about it. Well, it could this. happen to your children. All right, one good. of their idiot friends could hand them a gun someday. All right, So cool. if one of their dipshit friends hands your son a gun, you want I'll, them to know least, what to do. All right, I'll okay. grant you that. The very first thing you do when you get handed a gun is, my general instincts is to look at the safety button. Come closer, Joe. Oh, yeah. Hang on. I'll be right there. Okay. Now, the safety on this particular gun right here. Here, you got to hold this for me, Joe, because I'm one-handed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just hold it for me. Let's do this. The safety is right here. The one thing you need to know about this safety is if you see this button and it's all black, you're pretty much good. If you see that red right there, there's red right there. Red means hot. That means it's going to fire. That means it has the potential to fire. When you see red, safety is off. So, if somebody hands me a gun, I look at the gun, I check for the safety. A lot of times it might not have red, but if you see the safety, you know, all guns are different. If you don't know, ask. Don't ever fool with a gun. If you don't know, just ask. The gun owner will show you where the safety is. I'm going to click my safety. The very next thing you should do, when you either hand somebody a gun or somebody hands you a gun, you, don't eat pizza, Joe, you check. You open and check the chamber and always make sure that in there, there's no bullet. There could have been something in the barrel. I could have discharged a couple, but yeah, make sure there's nothing in it. So I do that, I close it, and now I'm good. Still, never touch the trigger. And, and then don't point the gun at anybody. And finally, last and, 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 and not leastly though, let me set that down, come back into frame. You could have a seat, Joe. All right, sit back down. Great yeah, time. go ahead, have a seat. How about have pizza? The final, yeah, have some pizza. The final thing, but not last thing, is whoa, whoa. always know what's beyond your target every single time you intend on shooting. That's something that I don't think a lot of people take into consideration. Um, if, if you're lining up a deer or anything, be aware of what's behind that deer because you don't want to be plugging Grandpa Smith or something like that when you're trying to shoot down Bambi or anything. So... If you follow those basic, don't touch the trigger, check for the safety, and always make sure that there's, that, that there's nothing in the chamber, you should be pretty safe. Good talk, Joe. Good talk. Uh, <laughs> I'm just letting you talk about guns, because I know I'm not really up on it. I just, here's my thing. You ready? You ready for my out outtake? And then we got to address some comments here. We got to, there's some comments that need addressing, so... Before I even get into pizza, I would like to to address some people. All right, all right. let's. I'm my, ready for here's, you. Here's my here's my outtake on gun control. Yes, it should be you know whatever. You, nobody needs a freaking machine gun. What is it? The bump stock you were talking a about? A bump stock. All right. I mean, yeah, cool. I mean, I think every it's it's fun. I got a machine gun, but do you really need a machine gun? I don't. What's see the difference, really, though? Here's the thing: you I, could make a bump stock out of a piece of wood with a wooden peg through it. See, all it is is the recoil of the gun makes it fire that way, anyways. If I stick my thumb through my belt loop and pull the, the and just put my thumb through the trigger guard and pull the gun forward, it automatically becomes a bump stock, and the recoil of the gun will shoot it anyways. So. It's like to me, it's like you're trying to ban something that you could just easily get done anyway. Here's here's my thing though. What does what does one, why would you need to own a machine gun other than to be like I am badass motherfucker? I own a machine gun. Other than that purpose only. To be completely honest, I, mean, I think that the average person a machine gun is is, is kind of a waste of of ammo anyways, and that's it is. why the, that's why the military uses three round spurts most of the time. No, to not to conserve just, ammo. Yeah, we have Eric back here who's a military veteran. Yep. That's why the military does it to not conserve, so you can conserve ammo. So ammo. the people, yeah, 
you, you know, it's most people that are buying the bump stocks are, are normal people. Most people that buy guns are not psychopaths. The majority well, no, isn't. No. But, but here's the thing, though. You could take away all the guns in the world. Mm -hmm. But if somebody is like that mentally unstable, like and you, and so if somebody wanted you dead, Jeff, yeah, they, whether they have a gun or not, they're gonna figure out if they're that mentally, they want you that all fucked up, and they want you dead, Jeff, they'll they'll run you down in a car, yeah, they'll Look, poison your house. I don't know, Jeff, they'll so, figure so out a way the if they really want it. What's the difference? So why ban any of them? So that that's kind of my point. That's the crazy part about it. Why you're hurting? The, you know, I do think maybe there should be a little bit more restrict restriction on. Um, the vetting process. I don't what the vetting process. The, the you have to help a brother out. Vetting on that one. is like <laughs> vetting is like. Yes, the, Todd Loza, we are into a steady diet of primos. I try yes. to eat there at least eight days. You know, vetting is figuring days. out whether or not you should Seven own a gun. Days a week. It's like ruling you in or out whether you should own a gun. That's what vetting is. So, so you know the actual, have like a, So you're saying, all right, hang on, hang on, make this easy. So you're saying everybody should go through like a screening process? Well, you kind of do anyways. Well, you do. You yeah. have to. You have to have an FBI check to buy anything. I mean, that gun that I just brought and sh showed you right there. I bought it at Walmart at uh, nine forty at night, and the cutoffs is at like ten o'clock. And I they ran an FBI check, but I'm crystal clean. So they my FBI check came back, and they said, "All right, oh. go ahead and go." <laughs> Good thing. I feel a lot you know? safer now. No. But I mean, if you have, I mean, obviously felonies, you can't own a gun. Um, if you have any kind of psychological background, there's got to be a way to check that. I don't know. You know, I don't know how, how you would go about screening every single person. But now, all right, now my question is, is all right. Oh, yeah, the pistol permits are a lot tougher to get. Oh, yeah, they're you know, getting. Wicked, they're, 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 they're a lot tougher to get. Sure In my opinion, if you could have a rifle, why shouldn't you be able to have a pistol? It's easier to carry, I guess. Do you feel safer when you know people around have guns on them? I, I don't really think about it. I mean, I have one of my really good friends. What would your thoughts Car be if carries people holstered? around everywhere? I don't bother me. What if like it was like Texas and you could just holster on your belt? Would I you prefer that, or would you let rather pe have people hide them? Because we're only concealed here in this state. That is true. What would you rather see? I would personally rather like see, see it, it on them. Yeah, yeah me too. Show, show it to me. If somebody's got it on, I want to see that the thing there. Then I know. Listen, ain't nobody's gonna rob me with this cowboy yeah, sitting here yeah, with this, a fucking yeah. forty-five. On I him. feel safe, and he's showing me. So obviously, if he was trying to do something shady, yeah, he's got nothing to hide.